Hi, my name is Dr. Kent Ferguson. Have you heard this before? There is never enough time in the day, and if there were, I wouldn't have the energy to deal with it. Does this sound like you? Life's busy and we understand this. To gain more energy, there are some general rules you can begin to follow. You can also tweak them a little to meet your specific needs. First, stay hydrated. Yeah, 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 you've heard that one before. Well, it's amazing how many of us ignore this seemingly simple rule. The general rule of thumb that we've all likely heard is to either drink eight, eight ounce glasses or two liters of water per day. Now, that's a good place to start, but what if you're not drinking anywhere near that? What do you do then? Well, you start slowly by drinking small amounts of water and slowly increasing your daily water intake over a few weeks. This will allow you to integrate the water you are drinking slowly and eventually drinking water won't feel like a chore and you won't spend all night going to the bathroom. Number two, eat good food. This seems like a no-brainer. The reality for most of the clients I see is that there seems to be less and less time during the day and week to eat well. The only way to successfully put good food into yours and your family's mouth is to A, buy good food, and B, plan to make good food. As the saying goes, you plan to succeed or you plan to fail. Consider meal planning twice per week. This will help you decrease the time spent preparing food on a daily basis. You can also prepare larger meals that can be frozen into smaller or individual portions. Those frozen portions can be a game changer for busy weeks that will prevent you from using the drive through window. Successfully meal planning will help you to control your portions, which will help you to control your waistline and energy levels. Number three, get appropriate rest. Getting eight hours of sleep per night can be easier said than done. That rule gets tossed out of the window if you're a shift worker, if your spouse is a shift worker, if you're in school, or if you have kids, or a host of other things that can interrupt normal sleep patterns. I think that it is important for people to get somewhere between seven to nine hours of sleep on average. And I'm speaking about adults. Not every day of the work week is created equal. So the sleep that you get may vary on some days. So then it is crucial that you make up sleep two to three nights per week to help keep you fresh overall. When you are sleeping, your body goes into rest and rebuild mode. Your nervous system is processing your day's experiences, putting some experiences in, or information into long-term memory and helping you heal up from whatever you've been up to during your waking hours. Number four, be active. The human body, you know that vehicle that you use to move around the world, requires exercise and activity to be fresh and healthy. You may have heard the saying, you have to spend money to make money. Well, the same concept holds true with energy. You have to spend energy to have energy. Now, I believe there are some parameters for the activity to classify as exercise. First, activity must be balanced. Second, activity must be performed with good form. Third, your activity must stress the body in a way that teaches it to do more. And fourth, the activity must be fun and enjoyable so that you'll do it on a rainy, snowy day for free. Again, these are just four general rules to follow. There, are, there is certainly space uh, for you to make these rules fit your own unique lifestyle and situation. So, in your quest for more energy, maybe just choose one rule per week to work on. Remember to start slowly, and if you stumble, that's okay. Start again. My name is Dr. Ken Ferguson. Thanks for watching.